Hey team, it is day 33. And one thing I've noticed in my videos, I did some reviewing today, uh, just to kind of see if I could critique myself. And I, I did get some of you to critique me uh, that I asked for, so I appreciate that, but I talk with my hands a lot. I don't know that I'm not gonna do that anymore. So like, it's hard. Uh, and I don't wanna be inorganic, so I, I'm gonna keep the hands going. And one thing I found was the swaying. I think that actually comes from, uh, if any of you have children, when they're babies and you and you rock them to sleep, I think you know that's just a it's a it's kind of a thing that that soothes the baby, but at the same time soothes you because you know you're holding one of the most special things in the world. Actually, you know, depending on how many children, one of the three for me, uh, and it just it's a good spot. So I noticed that I sway a little bit. So anyway, I'm gonna try to not sway as much, but I'm gonna keep coming at you with the hands. Uh, that's just how I talk. Apologize if that bothers any of you, but you know if it does. Yeah, don't watch, I guess. <laughs> it's day 33, and as far as it relates to working on habits, I wanna talk a little bit about sparkling water. And you know what? Uh, is sparkling water bad for me? You know, I used to think that the soda uh, had something to do with like tooth decay or digestion or whatever. We'll talk about that today, but it's really based around, remember when I talked about the artificial sweeteners and how, you know, I'm a Diet Mountain Dew, love, you know, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, energy drinks, uh, you know, the zero calorie stuff, a lot of artificial sweeteners. And if you remember that talk that we did about that, and we went through artificial sweeteners, they, they aren't the best for you, right? So as I've been reading the book, Atomic Habits by James Clear, and I, I'll have a link in the description on that, uh, you know, one thing that I really wanted to change was, man, I need to cut back on the artificial sweeteners based on what, you know, we learned. And so that's why we're talking about this today. Let's talk about sparkling water, see if it's a good substitute, and we'll go from there. But it is day 33, and let's get into it. I was 221 this morning, actually I was under. I was 220.8, <laughs> so which is, is awesome. I, I, I'm liking that I'm cutting out those two hours before I go to bed eating, but it came to another problem. And I didn't know if I should do red or blue with this, but I only ate 1,300 calories yesterday. So you know what that leads to, you're gonna be tired, you know, maybe the next day or a couple days from now, uh, it's because I've been restricting myself from eating in that normal time that I, that I have that extra dose of, uh, and it's normally carb. It's like my post lifting carb thing, but I don't need it as much uh, because I'm just not doing as heavy lifting. Uh, so I'm getting less calories and like last night, uh, I just didn't have the chance and I didn't want to eat right before I was going to go to bed. So 1,303. So that probably should be red, but I'm going to give myself, I don't even know, a little break maybe. Um, but you can call me on that if you want. Uh, but I'm going to get in my calories today for sure before I get to that two-hour window, before I want to go to bed. And when I say the two-hour window, it's not that you can't have leafy greens. You know, they have a little bit of carb in them, um, but they're not high starchy carb and or protein or fats, you know, those aren't going to create that, that insulin spike that would interrupt that release of HGH, which we've talked about, the two great things HGH does, I talked about again last night, muscle, muscle growth and uh, the fat breakdown or lipolysis. So remember that. 118 ounces of water, seven hours of sleep, 55 minutes of uh, workout at the gym, and then 212 grams of protein. So, I mean, I got my protein in, and I think that's really why my mind just automatically when you're tracking your calories with your, your uh, calorie tracking app, it just kind of shut down like, hey, I don't have to eat anymore. And I didn't kind of realize, because I was watching protein, not calories, I didn't kind of realize, man, you didn't have a lot of your carbs or anything. Uh, because now that I look at it, when we talk about atomic habits, one of my uh, habits, and I don't want to make this one atomic, was most of my carbs I would have post-workout to replenish some of the glycogen that I used from my muscles. So I've got to figure out a different way to do that because I'm going to continue to test this thing of not eating starchy carbs two hours before I go to bed. All right, here we go. Is sparkling water bad for you? The short answer, no, it's not. I used to think the soda was, or it had some tooth decay or something with digestion, but it's actually opposite. Now, there is some sparkling water that has artificial sweeteners in it, we're trying to get away from it, and sucralose or some form of sugar, not you know trace amounts or even higher amounts, that will impact your teeth, You know, create the insulin spike. It's not gonna be your one for one for water, but I won't tell you the brand name, if this is kind of what that sparkling water looks like. And all it is basically is mineral water injected with some CO2 gas and it makes soda water. And I hope you know what that is, but right away when you drink it, it tastes like you're drinking a pop or soda, wherever you're from in the country, 
uh, that at the, um, I don't know if you remember at like the restaurants or at the fast food places when you go and you try and fill up your cup, all of a sudden the white comes out and you taste it. And as a kid, it was like horrible. Th that's kind of what you're drinking here. But it's not that bad because what it does for me is it craves or it fills that craving that I have for that fizziness. You know, it's just really good to take a nice drink when you're eating your food and you get that fizz that kind of hits the throat the right way. I'm telling you right now, that sparkling water you, you get used to and you can get them for a real good deal at some of your uh, big big box, um, uh, like a Sam's Club, Costco, whatever, whatever you guys have for your big box stores, you can get them pretty cheap, like 50, 60 cents a piece, which to me is a heck of a deal because the soda's getting right around that expensive too. But is it bad for you? No. Now, if it's got sugar in it, Yes. Um, let's talk about what other things is good for you. So kills the cravings of maybe some of those artificial sweeteners. Make sure that your sparkling water doesn't have those artificial sweeteners or sugar in them because then you just like, well, you might as well drink the soda. Uh, but dehydration. If you hate to drink water and you know how important water is and you like to drink a lot of soda or pop or you know whatever other fizziness uh, you can have. This is a real good thing to start a little bit at a time to get used to because it will help you with that dehydration. Digestion. It actually is showing a little bit to help some digestion. Now, there's positives and negatives that. The positive is it's going to help you with digestion. The negative is sometimes it can cause gassy or bloatiness, right? Because it is carbonation. It's fizz. So the second thing is weight management. Doesn't If you're drinking the one without the sugar, it's going to help you with your weight management. As long as you're not throwing a, a, a bunch of additional extra calories in there, like I said, you might as well not use those as a substitute, like the sparkling waters with all the flavors and sugar in them. I mean, if you like that, like a Shasta, like grape soda used to be one of my favorite. Oh my goodness, can't even find those really anymore. Um, but if you're going to do that, you might as well drink the normal. Don't use this as a substitute. I'm talking about a way for you to, I guess, substitute uh, to get away from Maybe some of the things that aren't going to be so healthy for you, like I said, with the artificial sweeteners, or if you drink, you know, diesel soda with a lot of sugar, it, it's not going to it's not even going to be close to the same. But it is a way for you to a get your water and b substitute out something that might not be doing that much for your health, and that's where the curb cravings come in. So overall, it's not bad for you. If it's got the sugar and artificial sweeteners, I would say why, 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 why try and sub it out for anything. And lastly. You don't have to buy the expensive stuff. So I, am, I get off brands a lot of this, and I'm not gonna hold it up. I'm not gonna show you what brands because um, A, I don't have an affiliate link for it, so I can't really direct you where to go. Um, but B, uh, it's just funny story as I grew up on WIC. I don't know if any of you guys know WIC, but it's, it's kind of a government program for low-income families. And so we never got to have the name brand stuff. So it's hilarious I get yelled at when I go shopping because I literally will spend time going through the store. And if there's a substitute that's like the name brand versus not, and you know the name brand places, it's like a private label for them that they're just providing. And I will get the less expensive one just because of how I grew up. And I'm not ashamed, but I do get yelled at every once in a while. But you know, for me, like when it comes to sparkling water, this stuff's imported. So is the other brand stuff. This stuff is, you know, 20 cents cheaper a bottle. Come on. Water, sparkling water. I think I'm going to give myself a break here. Anyway, I went a little off course there, but hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get back on track with that 1303. I really got to make sure that I'm getting more of a front load on my calories. And then after my workout, you know, ensuring that I have something planned if I haven't got them in yet. So, um, Although it's the lower end, it's just, you know, it's not supposed to be that low like we've discussed before. Try the water uh, or comment. Let me know what you think. If you have other substitutes for the artificial sweeteners and sodas uh, that you've tried, I'd love to hear it. And other than that, you know what? I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. And as always, I, I appreciate your support. And I really have felt a lot of support from you guys. So thank you so much and have a good rest of your day.